Hello kindergarten, so now we're gonna make our diorama for our ladybug. And remember our learning objective is to understand the difference between natural environments and constructed environments. So we know natural environments are nature and um, the outdoors and constructed environments are environments that are made by man. And so now we are going to create a natural environment for our ladybug. So we made our ladybug out of clay and we painted it. And now we're going to put the natural environment, make that for our ladybug. And we looked at some pictures of ladybugs and where they live. And so now we're going to draw where they live. And so we saw some pictures of ladybugs on flowers. So I included some flowers and some grass and sky. If you don't want to put your ladybug on some flowers, you just want to put them on leaves like we saw some ladybugs, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do that. <clears throat> so you're going to start with a square white piece of paper and you're going to fold it in half. <clears throat> Open it up. And on the top, from the fold above, this is going to be your sky. And I want you to take a pencil and draw what you, where you want your ladybug to be, the natural environment. So in this case, on this case, I drew some flowers, some daisy flowers and some stems. I drew some grass and I drew the centers of the flowers. Um, with this one, I'm just going to do some leaves. So I'm going to do some tall leaves and I'm going to do some wide leaves. Maybe add a vein in there. <clears throat> Let's see, add a couple of leaves that overlap. So I have this leaf behind this leaf. Do this leaf behind the big leaf. Okay, <clears throat> and so then you're going to use crayons to color in. And there are more than one kind of green crayon. So I'm going to outline my leaves with the dark green. And then I'm going to color in the inside of the leaves light green. And I want you to color nice and neat, filling in the space. Now if I were going to do flowers, I would draw flowers with my pencil first and the stems of the flowers. And you don't have to do daisies like me. You could do tulips or roses or cone flowers or violet flowers. Now I don't want you to leave any white paper unless of course it's a daisy flower like this one and I left some white for the daisy petals. So now in the background I need to decide is it going to be all sky. I want to add some grass down here. So I'm going to take my green crayon and color up and down for some grass. Maybe I'll add some dark green sprigs of grass. And then I need to color in the sky. <clears throat> so I'm going to color it in blue. If it's a rainy day, you might color your sky in gray. And then I'm going to color in blue wherever there's white space. So there's white space here. We've got some white space in between here. <clears throat> so now I need to do the ground where my ladybug is going to sit. So I'm going to fold my paper now. I had folded my paper down like this. So now I'm going to fold it in the opposite direction crease it, open it up, and I'm going to color one of these two squares in green for the grass. I have to color the whole bottom, just one square. And I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut right along the edge of this green square, just one side of it. I'm going to stop right when I get to the middle. And now I'm ready to make this 3D and glue this sticking up like this diorama. So I'm going to open up my glue, twist the orange cap, pick the dried glue off, and then I'm going to do a frame of glue on this white square. My glue bottle closed nice and tight so it doesn't get clogged. And then I lift this grass ground up over the white square and it's hanging, it's, um, hanging off the side here so I'm going to squish that this way. And I'm going to hold this down. So now I have my finished diorama of my natural environment where my ladybug lives. So here I was putting my ladybug on some green leaves. Oh, here I wanted to do some flowers. So you get to decide if you want to do flowers or just green leaves. Nice and neat coloring in. Don't leave any white space unless the flower is white. And you have your finished natural environment for your ladybug. Good job. Kim.